Hi, I'm Josh Brothheim, Training Manager at Sumo Logic. In this video, I'll give a brief overview of span analytics, including what span analytics is and how to perform span analytics in the Sumo Logic UI. In distributed tracing, a trace is a view into a request as it moves through a collection of services in the distributed system. A span is a named timed operation that represents a single request and response within a trace. Multiple spans represent different parts of the trace. Sumo Logic allows customers to search, analyze, and query both structured and unstructured application data, including transaction traces, logs, and metrics. Span Analytics provides the ability to explore and analyze open telemetry powered distributed tracing data on a span level granularity. You can analyze real user monitoring, also known as RUM, data coming from browsers with Span Analytics as well. With this capability, you can perform an advanced, flexible, ad hoc query analysis for application level data with no cardinality limits, allowing you to query your custom data immediately after adding it to spans. The Span Analytics interface makes exploring and analyzing your application performance management data easy for new as well as experienced users or even those unfamiliar with the query language. You don't need to be familiar with the Sumo Logic log search language in order to perform ad hoc analytics on the application data using Span Analytics. Span Analytics leverages the power of the Sumo Logic log search query analytics. To access the Span Analytics in the Sumo Logic UI, click on the new button and then click Spans. This opens the Span Analytics interface where you can immediately start building your analyst query without any experience with query syntax or knowledge of your data structure. If you already know what you're looking for, you can immediately start building your query using the filter and visualize boxes at the top. Of course, before you can see the results from these queries, you will need to have some distributed tracing data in Sumo Logic already. Alternatively, you can hit the blue search button without any conditions to get a glimpse of the last 15 minutes of your data set. The screen displays multiple rows of spans in a table format. The table comprises various columns including span ID, starting timestamp, service name, operation, duration, and status code. In the facets on the left, you'll see all the metadata tags from the spans. Any of the metadata tags you want to include will be visible here. There is no configuration required to see this. Basically, any open telemetry compatible data that is in a span will automatically be displayed here. For example, let's take a look at the Sumo Logic Coffee Bar app and let's filter to view data only for the front end activities by clicking service equals the coffee bar front end. The raw data is displayed when you run the filter. Now to aggregate that data, say on 95 percentile of duration, in filters, in the visualize section, click duration, click percent, and then click 95. Then group the data by time, say per minute. Further, you can limit the query output to the top 5, 10, or 20 entries in case there are too many operation entries. Now run the query. When you run the query, it automatically shows the aggregated data in a chart. You can also select the chart type that interests you. For further enhancement, click Open in Search on the top right corner, which translates the aggregated data to a proper log search query, where you can further enhance that query if required. You can use them especially in the advanced use cases that are not supported in the Span Analytics basic interface. So Span Analytics has basic as well as advanced mode, the basic mode doesn't require you to write queries. Span Analytics interface in Sumo Logic has a complete understanding of the schema of the spans. For example, the situation where you can automatically get a list of facets without any additional queries, configurations, or tricks, and you can identify the required fields, such as span ID, the operation name, and so on. Span Analytics understands where to look for these details in the schema of spans. This is the built-in intelligence into that interface. I hope this video helps you understand what Span Analytics is, why it is required, and how it works. Thanks for joining.